Hi folks, I'm Steve Cullen, editor of Total Fly Fisher Magazine. Today we're going to go ahead and try the Christmas tree lure. I've got a, a long shank size 10 hook here in the vise. I'm going to run on a bed of black tying thread. Doesn't have to be too neat. Take it right down to a point opposite the barb. Sit your thread down, yeah, like that. I've now got some uh, Spartan green floss here. I'm going to take quite a generous hunk, two feet. I'm going to fold it and fold it and fold it until I get the thickness that I'm looking for. Which is probably going to be about there. Now, what I'll do is I'll tie this in and make sure that the floss is bedded in up the length of the body so everything's the same thickness. Take your tying thread up, lock it down, the lock it wraps. Sharp pair of scissors, just trim the tail there. There we are. And now what we're going to do is take a small pinch of medium silver wire, sorry, silver tinsel. Touch that in at the rear of the hook shank at my side. From pulling your thread, especially this thread, which is quite thin, this is a 6 or 8 or sorry, this is quite thin. Don't pull too tight or it'll snap that, it'll cut through it. Now, what I'm going to do is take a small bit of black chenille. I'm just going to quickly take the chenille off the end so I'm left the stem there. And again, I'll lock that to the side of the hook shank, right down at the bottom. Bring my thread back up to just behind the eye. Just stop there. Now, wind the chenille nice and tight, and touch and turns all the way up the body, stopping just behind the eye, top of the hook shank, and. Your scissors, trim it down, get rid of any loose fibres there. What I will do at this stage, because I've just tied it, I'll secure it with a couple of quick finishes. Now what we're going to do is, with nice open wraps, we're going to wind up the body with a silver wire. Keeping everything nice and even. And again, tie in on top of the hook shank. That's like for your side. Again, a little bit of security. Just a quick, quick finish. Now what we're going to do is the same with the neon magenta floss. A generous hunk. Fold it. And again. And again. Probably one more time, I think. See how that's set. Yep. And pinch and loop with your thread from the underside. Make sure it's sitting central. Make sure you're happy. You can see there that it's sitting nice and central in the hook shank. I'm now going to take scissors and trim that away. I left myself very much to work with there, so what I'm going to do is take it off, move it forward just a little bit. Again, make sure it's central. It doesn't want to sit to either side. Central in the hook shank. See if I've got enough to grab now. And come in, cut that tight. Now worry about the head just now because we'll tidy that up. Pull the fibres down. And what you're looking for is the, the floss to sit sort of halfway back along the hook shank. So if you pull it so it's straight, perpendicular, like that, just trim it flush. Sure. 
your throat. Now what I'm going to do is just simply take quite a generous bunch of marabou here, grip it so you've got all the stems together nice and tight. A little twist of my fingers there just to bed everything in. Leave myself enough space to work with and again pinch and loop. Make sure you're happy and it's nice and even on the back of the hook shunt. With my scissors, I'm just going to come in, trim that flush, and with tension thread drops, I should be able to make a nice neat head here. Everybody thinks because once you put a couple of thread drops on there, and it looks quite a bit messy, once you've built the head up, it'll look nice and tidy like that. What I'm going to do just finally is take the tips of my fingers and just rip them off the same length as the tail. Finally, I'm just going to whip finish. Bird's eye there. There they are. Coming underneath. an easy flight to tie but you want to try and get the proportions right um, and you want to try and get everything even so it's all central. See that side, that side. And finally I'm just going to add a little touch of varnish. Now you'll see in the magazine I've done a funked up new version of that that I've just tied myself. Um, a lot of the same materials there's a double wing in there and we've also got some of the new struggle stuff. Um, and it makes for a really, really bulky fly, which is perfect for early season work. There you go. There you go, a Christmas tree. Quite easy to tie. Great at this time of year, especially when the water's a bit cold. It's got all the key ingredients, black, green, pink. A lot of movement there in the wing. I'm sure you'll have great success with that. So have a shot with it, folks. I'm sure you'll do really well. Take care and I'll see you next time in Deadly Killers. Bye-bye for now.